Hi guys, welcome to Ignis Love Channel. My name is Pedita. How are you doing? Good? Awesome. So today again, um, I've been watching a lot of, uh, seeing a lot of um, Pastor Ibiome's clips. So it's on him again and all the crazy things that he says around giving and tight, tithing, paying tight. So here's another crazy one, guys. Those of you that are new here, you're welcome to In His Love channel, um, where we try to p p point out the truth of the gospel and not religion that is being sold to a lot of us Christians. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, like this video so that we others can get the video also. And... Um, you know enjoy from the knowledge from this video so if you like what you see subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching this uh, videos on this channel what are you waiting for now subscribe you know thank you all so let's jump right into the video that month year is ending don't buy christmas cloth when you have not paid tight it's dangerous it's very dangerous very what very dangerous don't don't buy christmas cloth <laughs> when you have not paid your tithe what wait what i don't even know what to say let's just continue there's more within a time i have noticed for instance if a non tighter drives me. Two tires will break, will bust. Unbelievable, it will not bust. But once you are born again and you drive me and you're not a tighter, it has happened three cases and all the three drivers did not pay tight. It happened to us even in the bottom. I stopped and I said to the, to the driver of the pastor, I said, You don't pay tight. He kept quiet. I said, That's why these two tires busted. He looked at me. We're driving to a place called Where's the place close to Obosi? Two tires. Wow! I told, looked at my driver. I knew the meaning. Once you carry me, I'm a very strange covenant practitioner. And that one, I employed a new driver on my Rolls Royce. We are coming from airport, my wife and I, the two tires. Wow! I said, nothing. It's you, the devourer is following. <laughs> and I said, go and check his record. Truth was not a tighter. Day for yesterday, is it day for yesterday? As we are coming from, from a program, bah! I just say, you don't pay tight. No devil, watch this. I say, park your car, I jump into another one. And truly, but he has been born again. All of them have been born again for years. All this attack is not a devil. Not everything is good to a devil. I'm telling you this December, don't tamper with your tight. Otherwise, they may rush your children. Just say, all the protection we do, did they rush my bikini to go here? Many of you are Christians, don't pay correct tight. You pay as you like. It's not pay as you go. Pay correct tight. So that you don't be blaming the devil for what the devil is not responsible. If you like it here, yeah. we're talking favor. Are you hearing me now? As I'm talking to some of you, you say, hey, Papa, if I leave this topic now. If I leave out now, I can't tell you. I know, I know. Just let's calm down. Calm down. I know some of you are like, I know some of you want to just like jump, if it's possible to jump into the screen and just like shake this, this pastor and say, what is wrong with you? Some of you are just like, just laughing, just laughing at the whole thing, the stupidity of the whole thing, the whole lies, right? And some of you could care less, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever position you are, just hearing uh, Pastor Biome saying all these things, this like life stories that is given. Uh, let us know how you feel. Let us just let us know how you feel before you even start commenting on what he said. Let us know how you feel. So he said, if a non tighter drives him, uh, two tires just automatically bust. Bwah! Two tires just bust. Bwah! Anytime a non tighter drives him, two you know, two tires always bust on on the journey. <laughs> what kind of nonsensical I don't even know the English to use. What kind of 
what kind of story is he telling? So, he, and he said he's a very dangerous covenant practitioner. A very dangerous covenant, dangerous covenant practitioner. But you're not dangerous enough to stop two tires from, from busting anytime a non tighter drives you. Wow. So if, if something, God forbid, something to happen to that car, you know, the car some assaults, you know, and, and gets um, out of control into the road or whatever, you know, like an accident. So he's going to, he's, he's going to be affected in that accident. A whole uh, strange covenant kingdom practitioner. Or what did he say? Strange covenant practitioner. He, he no, no power to stop the, the, uh, the two tires from busting. So that's how he knows. <sighs> Guys, please, like, if, if someone is driving on the highway, you know, because he was talking about how he, he was traveling from point A to point B. So I believe he was, in, was on the highway, uh, on, high, on a high speed, right? The driver must have been on a high speed. So if the car is on a high speed and two tires suddenly just bust and, you know, bust open, I think that would be very dangerous, you know. So that makes this story a lie. Like, <laughs> ah, Lord have mercy. What kind of stories are these people telling our people, Sha? Like, it doesn't make sense. You know, see how they just open their mouth and just lie and just make up stories, senseless stories, just sto stupid stories. So long story short for all these stories that he's, he's talking about now, you know, is that uh, it's putting fear in the, in the people. It's a, it's a fear tactic. It's a fear, fear technique that he's doing right now, you know. So, so that um, if you're not, if you're a non, he, he, if you're a non tighter terrible things might happen to you. That's what he's saying, because it happened happened to him when the two tires bust bust every time. Every time a non tighter drives him, two tires must bust. Even if the person is a Christian, even if the person is born again or whatever, as long as they don't pay tight, two tires must just bust every time. Never fails. Because he's a strange covenant practitioner. And then he said, you know, um, he, said, he said you should take your tight pain very serious. He said you should take your tight pain very serious. Otherwise, they may rush your children. To where? Like to the hospital. People that go to these churches and this Ibiomes kind of uh, Pentecostal uh, 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 prosperity preaching, Adeboye, uh, what's their name? Uh, Oyedekbo, Winners Chapel, all of them, all, all those crazy churches in, in Africa. People that go there, they are, ah, they are really in bondage, as in, they are really in bondage. Look at the first one he said that you should not even think of buying Christmas clothes if you have not paid your tithe. Control. He's controlling the people. He's controlling the people. Like they tell you, they tell you, they want to tell you what to do. It's not even they want to. They tell them what to do, how to do it. The other day he was talking, the same Ibiome was talking about uh, during fasting period. Those that are 21 days fasting. That uh, you, you, should, you should not sleep with your wife. You shouldn't go to, uh, you know, you shouldn't do anything like that. You know, you shouldn't do things that you do in the other room during fasting and you can wait 21 days you will you will not die like how is that his business is that what scripture said concerning when you are fasting you know and then he's threatening them telling them if, if you like you listen if you like you don't listen we are doing you a favor you know if you don't pay if you don't pay your tithe and you buy christmas clothes you know and you know, dangerous things even as bad as they will rush your children to the hospital threatening them threatening them ah my people see this this life eh, this life of, of religion 
Ah, religion is a beast. I always say religion is a beast. If you don't, if you don't have your own sense, amen. Ah, if you don't study the scripture for yourself, if you don't even have common, you don't use your common sense. That's why you know people are screaming every day when you go to church. Go with your sense. Go with your common sense. Don't 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 leave it at home. Take it with you inside the church because these pastors are they are vicious. They are desperate. They will say and do anything just to get that molar out of your pocket. So fear tactics. So <laughs> at the end, he said, you know, he said uh, someone will now say, ah, Papa, you know, nah. Let me read it as well. He said someone will say, uh, ah, Papa. If I leave this topic now, <laughs> that someone will say, ah, Papa, if I leave this topic now. Then he now replied and said, if I leave the topic, wait here, I will come tell you. You see that these people, they, they, don't, they don't have, they have nothing to preach about. The whole gospel, the whole gospel, nothing else but tithing, money, giving, giving, giving. That's all. And if I leave the topic, wait here, I will come tell you now. He doesn't have any, he, he not get anything he won't preach again, apart from money. He, he said it himself. He said it himself. Wow. They have nothing else to preach about, apart from giving. It's a shame, guys. Please leave your comments, leave your thoughts on this video. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Let's you know, keep praying for the gullibles that God will open their eyes, you know. God will help, help them to see through all of these lies that these pastors are just selling to them every day, all in the name of kingdom wealth, uh, 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 kingdom blessings, you know, all of the things that God has given to us freely, freely from the beginning. He said he, 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 he makes his reign to shine on the good and the evil, on the, the bad person, the good person, on everybody. He makes his rain to shine upon them. So, and then one pastor will come and tell you that, hey, you have to do this, you must pay, pay this, pay that before you get, um, before you get one blessing or the other. Lies, guys, lies, big fat lies. In fact, <laughs> there, there was even one, there was even one that he said, um, uh, what did he say again? He said, hey, he said he's a fertile ground that people should, should sow, sow on him because he himself is a fertile, a very fertile ground. They should sow on him. That once, once you just sow your, your money on him, bah, everything will just happen. Bah, I don't know what he said. He, did, he just said, bah. <laughs> This guy is such an ag bearer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, with all due respect, Pastor Ebiume is, is, is straight up an ag bearer that, you know, like, even ag bearer, even sometimes, I, do, I think they're even better past this guy. The way he talks, the way, the way he doesn't care what comes out of his mouth, all he cares about is that giving giving tight tight pay tight pay tight pay tight give 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 yeah uh, give give 20 percent offering more than your 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 tight what is that all kinds of things guys thanks for listening to this video um let's be wise um open your eyes if you're still believing in these guys what they what they say Shine your eyes, open your eyes to the truth. Wake up and smell the coffee. You, you, want, you want to acquire wealth in this life, go and walk. Do the necessary things, diligence. You know, diligence, or how, however they say, do those things that will bring wealth. Hard work, you know? Not you sow one seed, you sow it to one pastor, drop it in church, they will tell you you're giving to God, and then wealth will just come. Bah! Leave your comments, leave your thoughts uh, on this video, and remain in his love. Remain in his love. Christ has paid it all, guys. Always remember, Christ has paid it all. Any other thing, any person, bishop, archbishop, pastor, 
leader, whoever is telling you contrary to that, they are all lies. They are all lies, and after and, and they are all after one reason and one reason alone to collect from you. So it's up to you guys. Some will still come and say, eh, eh, is it your money? Is it your money? Of course, it's not my money. Ah, feel free, be giving, be giving, be sowing, sowing on, sow on people like Biyome because they are fertile grounds. Ground, continue sowing, continue sowing. But I do wish and pray that you know your eyes of understanding will be open. You know, God bless you all. Remain in His love, and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for listening. Bye.